Hi, how are you? Welcome to this session. Last time, the topic was about rape. Today, our discussion will be on peer pressure. Research shows that 90% of teenagers are affected by peer pressure. And 80% of those teenagers are affected negatively. Today, we have a group of five girls who will lead us in this discussion about peer pressure. Welcome to this session. So could you please start by telling us what you understand by the term peer pressure? Patience? Okay, for me, peer pressure is an influence from your friends and the people you work with. It can be either mm -hmm, from a distance, something you watch from a distance, or something you can see from a close situation. For example, when you're with a friend and she likes doing some things, you'll find that most of the time you'll get that pressure. I should also do this because my friend is doing it, you see? So I get that is peer pressure. Okay. So I can say peer pressure is something uh, I will see my friend doing it and I will want to try to speak like she speaks or he speaks to do what he speaks or she speaks um, uh, that's I, to me it's something that I get from my friend either positively or negatively okay thank you for that explanation about what peer pressure is it's a a desire to fit in the group, a desire to please, a desire for recogn recognition and attention. And some also get involved in peer pressure because they want to avoid being laughed at. You think if I don't do it, I'm not cool enough and therefore I'll be laughed at. So you end up being involved in peer pressure. So. Do you have some incidents where you are actually influenced by peer pressure? Blessing? Okay, so for me, um, I saw my friends putting on makeup and I also, I saw that they were looking beautiful, they are looking like they are, they are just amazing. So even me, I tried to put on makeup, but they didn't fit on me. So I did it straight on Okay, so the desire to look like others made you start wearing makeup. Okay, Abigail, do you have an experience you'd like to share? As for me, I would, I would say that my friends uh, had my friends had boyfriends, and me, I was young and they didn't have a boyfriend, and they. They usually came and told me that, you see, having a boyfriend is a good thing, they do this and this, and I said, let me try it, but as for me, the ending was bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you saw your friends having boyfriends and you attempted to do what they had done. You also got yourself a boyfriend. Patience. Yeah. Yes, what's your experience? So for me, it was back, I think, in 2019. I was a form one and we had this car group. You see the groups that you work in as friends? We were four of us. And the other three were good in singing. And for me, singing is not my thing. My thing is like dancing or talking, other things, but not singing. So they used to go out for music festivals and they would proceed. You see that praise, all that praise they got. And me, I was just back at school and I'm feeling so lonely because my friends are already out, they are singing. So I started singing and <laughs> it was such a shame because there was nothing I was able to do. The tonation was wrong. Everything was just wrong. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll choose the most critical one. It is actually a very negative one. Um, it happened when I was in 14, I was 14 years old. So I had this friend and she told me, how about she just put up a party at home? Because I never used to stay with my mom. So she told me, how about you do this and this and this and this. I told her, okay, but I don't do alcohol. I don't do all this stuff that you want me, you want me to do. So she told me, uh-uh, it's just a little. 
So please just take it. It won't affect you in anything. Uh, the result of it all that night is the night that I lost my virginity. Yeah, it happened that I was so drunk. In the morning is when I just, oh my god, this has happened. How did it all happen? But I just, it went through the prayers and everything, I just overcame it. All right. Yeah. That's a serious one. <laughs> Right. Yes, Victoria. Um, for me, I I had friends who they like dancing and they knew how to dance. And so for me, I didn't know how to dance a lot. I just knew a little bit. So they they used to go for like um, they used to go and perform, and I never knew. So um, something came on my mind and. I started, um, it stuck on my mind and I asked myself, when will I know how to dance like them? So I started practicing a lot and I became one of them, yeah. Okay, so you learned dancing so that you could join the group yeah. and fit in. Mm -hmm. All right, so all these are effects of peer pressure. Some are positive and others and also majority of them are negative. So the question is, how can we avoid peer pressure? Blessing? Uh, as for me, I will, I, will, I will try to find some, someone matured enough to help me with my, decision, with, this, with my decisions and someone who can help me, whom I believe can, she or he can help me. Okay, that's very important. Consulting a mature person who can help you and guide you in making the right decision. Yes, Abigail? I would say choosing friends wisely because it, if you choose the friends who work in a bad company, it's going to influence you negatively. But if you choose friends who, who are good, they are going to influence you positively. Yes, choice of friends, very important. Patience? Okay, for me, first of all, the first thing is prayer. Confiding is prayer. in prayer is the best thing you can ever do. When you pray, God just flows down information in you, knowledge that you shouldn't do and this and this. Also, not all the time that you pray is that you get all that knowledge. We also get this knowledge from some books that we get for advice and all that, thing, all those things. For example, the, the wise book, I've read this book and it contains some of the myths that we as youth are given about sex. And it leads us to do sex that it's not really advisable for our age. For example, if my friend had read this book before, she would have at least known what she should have done and what she should not have done for that night. Yeah. Okay, very good. Well, I would say sticking on my line. Because if I stick on my line, um, I won't, I won't have to look what somebody else is doing, and I won't go out of my line, because let's say for example I stick on my line and somebody else, I'm in class learning, and then somebody else wants me to go outside playing. You know I will, uh, because I will know what I need for the future that I have. I will stick and say no. I'm not going out to play, and it's time to learn. You see. I will, I will have saved myself uh, going out there and playing. Who knows? Uh, the teacher can come and just um, give us punishment. And that will be a waste of time, by the way. That will be a waste of time. I would have, maybe, uh, I would have stayed in class and then had time to learn. I will not have fallen into that um, punishment. So I will stick on my life. Okay, thank you. Sticking on your line. For me, I think being yourself is more important because you'll be able to make your own decisions like sticking on an answer. Maybe a yes or a no. Okay, being yourself and letting your yes be a yes and your no be a no. So, thank you for that very informative discussion. And parents, these are some of the issues that teenagers love discussing about. The, as you've heard, they influence 
not only their present but their future lives and therefore parents kindly buy a copy of the wise for your daughter or your son and they're going to learn more about the frequently asked questions by teens and preteens god bless you